hello everyone welcome to my channel in today's video i am going to discuss about if you are trying to blur part of your video on youtube and you got that message blur region contains checkpoints outside of its boundaries and you can't save your work anymore if you got that message this is a video for you to explain to you why you are getting that message how you can get rid of it and how you can avoid it in the first place so um, I'm gonna go to my YouTube channel and I will uh, show you a live example on that uh, this is my channel here so I'm gonna select this video and uh, I'll gonna I'm gonna go to editor to uh, go to the blur option this is the blurring so um, I will select uh, let's say custom blur and here um, I can see that there is a blur window that appears which, which will blur anything that is behind it now on the blur uh, uh, table what we have there is uh, mainly four options rectangular or oval this is the shape now it's uh, selected rectangular and here uh, there is blurry behavior track object and fix blur position now uh, let uh, now it is on track object um, track object uh, which means that the system will track whatever I am hiding. Now, let's say if I move it, if I move this window from hiding this uh, part of this button, I'm gonna hide this pan. I can see that the time changes on custom blur. I'm gonna hide only the tiles. The time changes again. What does it mean? It means uh, basically that um, whatever I am hiding, the time that is be, uh, is gonna be visible is only two minutes. When I hide this button, the time uh, that uh, the the button will appear is from zero to five minutes. Now, um, how do I get that message, which uh, I talked uh, about? Uh, blur region contains checkpoint outside of its boundaries. If I'm gonna change the custom blur time, let's say I'm gonna put it. Uh, instead of from 0 to 5 minutes, I'm going to put it, let's say, from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Directly, I will get blur region contains checkpoint outside of its boundaries and I can't save the work anymore. Nor I can see the blurring window anymore. Why does it happen? Because uh, what I'm trying to hide uh, still will appear for the first 30 seconds. So this message will help you uh, to uh, to be notified that what you are trying to hide is going to be visible for 30 seconds. Now, if uh, you want to remove that um, uh, that message and, and save your work, you need to return it back to zero. And you can see that uh, uh, this wind the blurring window appears again. This is the first method, is that to return it to zero, whatever the system suggests, estimate the time. The second option uh, is that to move from track object to fix the blur position. I'm going to return it here to 30 seconds and show you. Now this is from 30 seconds to 5 seconds to, sorry, from 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Here, um, and I got that message, I can't save the work also. If I uh, move it from track object to fix a blur position, that message disappears. Why it disappears? Because um, when I put fix a blur position, it means that it doesn't matter what object I'm trying to hide. So I'm just uh, hiding a specific place on my video. Whatever is gonna come behind will be blur uh, will come under the blurring uh, uh, position. So, uh, as I said, there is two options. First, if you want to keep it on track object, then um, you need to follow whatever the custom blur suggestion will give you, which is here from zero to five minutes. However, if you want to uh, uh, put different uh, timing, uh, then um, you need to put on fixed blur position. Now, uh, there is one thing also I want to explain to you. Uh, let's say if I want to increase the time, let's say instead of from 0 to 5 minutes, from 0 to 8 minutes, for example, I won't get that message. Why? Because if I increase the time 
of tracking the object the object anyway will not be visible uh, in the eight, in the three minutes extra won't be visible so it won't be a problem that's why you still can save um, uh, your blurring uh, uh, position you can you still can save it there is no issue in that the only issue is that when you put uh, uh, when the re when you reduce the time and whatever you are trying to hide that object which you are trying to hide uh, behind the blurring uh, window uh, will be visible in parts of your video uh, that's why youtube has put that message to alarm you that uh, um, you need either to change the time or to change from track object to fix blur position i hope uh, with that i have uh, explained to you uh, um, how you can resolve this issue and how you can avoid it um, subscribe to my channel to watch upcoming videos take care goodbye